Okay, so this is going to be a reading for my Taurus for July 22nd through the 29th. Thank you guys so much for joining me back on my YouTube channel. We're going to go ahead and see what the messages are looking like for you guys for this month. And keep in mind, this is a general reading, as you guys already know. Everything I say may or may not resonate with you. Only take what does apply and let the rest fly. And if you do want a personal, that information will be listed in my description box as well as the comment section. Thank you guys for your support. All right, so Taurus for July 22nd through the 29th. What is the energy that's surrounding them or they need to check in with? What's going on with my Taurus for July 22nd through the 29th? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, <laughs> these cards are literally aligning. This is so funny. All right, very interesting. Taurus for July 22nd through the 29th. What's going on with their love life? Okay. And three cards for my Taurus. All right, so let's get into it, guys. So Taurus, for July 22nd through the 29th, guys, what I'm seeing for you guys overall is the fact that you guys really need to make sure you're sticking to the vision. Sticking to the vision and not allowing any sort of... <laughs> Any sort of like people with clouded judgment or just clouded judgment, period, to throw you off of your vision, all right? And this could even be like people just putting negative thoughts into your head or you losing sight of what you're really trying to accomplish in life. Like say, for instance, you've been working on a goal aimlessly, aimlessly, excuse me, if I could talk. Working on a goal aimlessly and waiting for things to really manifest and take form, um, this may require you to really, again, have that tunnel vision and not allow outside people who are like naysayers and non-believers to throw you off of your path, okay? Also, this could be even having a sense of clarity. So for some of you guys this week, what will really help you get some inner clarity on just really your decision making and what you just want to see for yourself in general, taking time to meditate, taking time to really be at peace with yourself, just yourself. OK, especially if you are someone who's always around people or you're a workaholic or, you know, maybe you're a mother and you're constantly having to deal with kids or maybe you're someone who, you know, helps their family out with kids, whatever it may be. Um, I just feel like you guys do need to make sure you're taking time for yourself to get your own sense of clarity and to also realize your own, like, dreams, like what you want for yourself, not for other people. You get me? Because for some of you guys, you could have been just doing so much stuff for the support of other people, like making sure that your family's okay or making sure that you're handling your responsibilities financially, what have you. All right. So meditation and really taking time to clear your mind is going to be best for you because it came up twice. All right. Um, and this is also connected to your aura for a lot of you guys doing some cleansing to your aura will be very, very uh, beneficial. So I always say this, I don't know if I've said it in your readings before guys, but taking time to do like some, how do I say this or not how I say this, um, going to the beach and cleansing yourself is a really way, a really good way to wash off like old energy that you've had built up on you for some time and also a good way for like a, a really good spiritual cleanse. So going to the beach and allowing the waves to kind of wash all over you and kind of imagining the waves pulling your stress off of you and just releasing all of the toxins that, you know, people have brought to you as far as like toxic ideas or just negativity that you may have been holding on to as far as like relationships that haven't worked out. 
releasing that into the ocean and allowing the waves to kind of pull your stress away is going to be a really good way to clear out your aura. I hope that makes sense for you guys. Um, also, if you can't go to the beach, uh, taking Epsom salt and putting inside of a bath will also be great. Or even shit, getting you um, a bath bomb with like flowers in it, like dried up flowers or something like that. Or even putting like your own spiritual bath together like customizing it to into your own thing would be awesome as well something to really relieve stress guys like I feel like y'all need to really relieve some stress take care of yourself you guys are Taurus okay you guys really need to take care of yourself um I feel like also a really good way to take care of yourself is to get the hell off the internet if you're somebody who's too consumed in the internet, taking time for your own mental health, there's nothing wrong with that, okay? You will be surprised how good you'll feel after, you know, a week or so of not going on social media because sometimes social media can implant ideas or concepts into our minds that we didn't even really want to pick up on, but it's just like, oh, you see something crazy on the internet and then automatically you start thinking you want it or, you know, different things start to manifest. So allow the internet to stay where it's at. Okay. The internet's not going to go anywhere. It takes some time for you because your crown chakra is really needing some balance right now. Really needing some balance. Um, and you guys are just needing balance overall. Now let's go ahead and look at your love life guys. So when it comes to your love life, Taurus, let's move these cards out of the way. When it comes to your love life, the cards that we have, we have religious factors in reverse. It flipped out that way. And usually I don't look at Oracle cards in reverse, but there's a reason for why it flipped that way. We also have attraction. Um, and it says you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So with the religious factors card in reverse, for some of you guys, um, there could be like actual differences between you and your partner, whether that's like a uh, race, um, like the way you guys grew up. This could even be like the way you guys talk, um, like little things. It could be uh, like a, a same sex relationship, what have you. And that could be a thing, but I don't feel like that's the reason why the connection may be going the way it's going like I don't feel like there's a problem with whatever religious differences there may be if that makes sense so say for instance like your partner may be atheist all right and then you're like a Christian you may not be bothered by the fact that your partner may be atheist and your partner may not be bothered by the fact that you're Christian you guys may just be okay with that so I don't feel like it's an issue I think that's why this flipped in reverse all right but with the traction here I definitely feel like there is some sort of like uh, attraction as far as you guys both feel like you guys look good to each other. This could be a new person, okay? But with this person, there could be like addictions affecting this connection, whether that's like um, this person have like a drinking addiction or like a smoking addiction, or it could even be like emotional codependency um, or like financial codependency here. So somebody could be doing that. Um, and that can go vice versa. Somebody in the connection could be doing this. It could be you guys or the cross watcher. But with this situation, I feel like there is some healing that does need to take place. Um, I also feel like there's like two separate situations going on here as well for some of you guys. Like some of you guys, you could be in a relationship and there's issues and you could be talking to someone new. Um, but you could be having issues with moving on from another relationship. That could be a scenario for some of you guys, okay? But we'll look at it more in depth when we go on the spread. But the other cards we have here as well are, it says, My beloved, though we may be physically apart, spiritually we have always been united for love transcends space and time. Nothing is missing. We also have sacred union. It says honor and treasure your relationship for it is truly sacred. And we also have transformation. It says your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transforms all things. 
So again, I keep getting this energy of like two different situations. I keep seeing like a newer situation that may be better for you guys and an older situation that may be kind of, um, having some issues. So let's go ahead and look more in depth guys. Cause I'm a little lost. <laughs> so let's see what's going on with my Taurus for July 22nd through the 29th. Taurus for July 22nd through the 29th. July 22nd through the 29th. Taurus. All right. So the energy at the bottom of the deck for you, or not bottom of the deck, the energy coming into the week, last week's energy, the guidance, the obstacle issue, and the outcome. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, bottom of the deck, I am seeing that a lot of you guys are taking this stance of really taking your time with things, not really trying to rush into any situations here. Um, for some of you guys as well, you could be like slowly wanting to work towards working things out with someone who you may have suffered a level of disappointments with. Okay. This could be somebody who you're in the process of getting a divorce with, or somebody who you may have split up from and you may want to work things out with them. This could be a Libra doesn't have to be, um, that sign exclusively. Um, but I am definitely seeing that you guys are wanting to fix things or bring balance to a connection where you definitely did feel a level of disappointment or heartbreak with the situation. And you could be working on manifesting communication with this person, but I feel like this person may be a little petty, <laughs> especially with the page of wands. Um, you could be also like watching this person's social media, trying to fill out like, okay, are they talking to somebody right now? Uh, trying to, you know, just see what's good with them. And with the high priestess, I feel like there is a need for you to use your intuition because I feel like there's going to be like this push and pull type of thing going on, whether that's because there's other people involved or you guys kind of being torn between each other. That definitely depends on who you are as a Taurus watching this. But I'm coming into this week, I do have the chariot as your energy, all right? And with the chariot, I am seeing that you guys are very much focused on overcoming just a lot of obstacles that have been brought towards you this could be in any sense like this could be like issues with a home um this could be like issues with like legal situations this could be you trying to fix your car because the chariot is about cars but it's like you guys really trying to overcome some bs that you guys have been just brought and with the five of cups and the ace of cups, a lot of you guys, with you trying to move forward, there may be still this emotional, this emotional knee jerk to kind of focus on things that haven't worked out for you or all the things that have gone wrong in the past. But I feel like a lot of you guys are developing a sense of self love for yourself, um, especially coming into this week or prior to this week. I feel like you guys have been working on this. And with this sense of self love, I feel like this is going to put you in a better space. Also, with this, I feel like there may be possibly for some of you guys, if you're dealing with a cancer, a cancer that you guys may be kind of thinking about from your past, um, who may be trying to come back or you guys may be trying to get a connection going with this person. But I feel like somebody here is a little mentally stuck or feeling stuck as far as like not knowing how to change the circumstances of the situation here. Okay. And this doesn't have to be a cancer, um, exclusively. But last week's energy, I do have the Wheel of Fortune with this clarified by the Queen of Wands. I feel like randomly out of the blue by God's great graces. Let me stop. <laughs> by the universe. Um, for some of you guys, a fire sign may have gotten in contact with you. With this situation, it may have been very temporary with the Three of Wands. I feel like this person may have gone about their merry way after communicating with you. Um, but I feel like for some of you guys, you could be like waiting on this person to kind of reach out to you but you don't know if a connection or you didn't know if a connection could be something that you guys could make happen with this person, especially with the seven of cups. 
Now, what I am seeing for the advice, I do have the devil card and this is also tied to addictions. So I feel like, again, underlyingly, there is some sort of addictions that are affecting your situation right here. We have codependency and the devil card. So whether this is, again, drug addictions, codependency financially, codependency emotionally, I feel like there's a need for you guys to address that and to come out of that because that is not good for your mental health, especially if this is something that you're struggling with. And also if this is something that you and your partner may bond with, there's a need for you guys to kind of realize how that is a little toxic <laughs> and have like a wake up call as to why that's not good. And even if it's not drug addictions, this could be even like just being emotionally clingy, like stuff like that. Right. And the obscure issue that may come up this week, I do have the five of pentacles. So for some of you guys, you could be feeling this lack energy. Like for some of you guys, it could be like you wanted more financially or feeling like you have to spend more um, for some of you guys like on a home purchase. Um, another thing, there could be like this energy of somebody leaving you behind. This could be a twin flame connection you have with someone and there could be issues with you moving on from this mentally or you even move into a better space as far as communication goes with this person. And there also may be issues with this person even opening up emotionally as well for some reason. Or you guys being a little bit emotional about what may have been going on between you and another person. But what I am seeing for the outcome of this week for your, for your week, <laughs> sorry guys, um, we do have the seven of swords with the seven of swords here. I'm definitely seeing that for some of you guys, there could be like some sort of deception here. Like if you're in a partnership currently, there could be deception that comes up. Um, especially if your partner is like manipulative, that could be like the case. Like this person could be telling you they're at work, but they're not. And doing stuff also this could be like avoidance energy like somebody who you want to manifest change with and like put a con put work into a connection with may not be opening up and i feel like this cycle may be closing out for you with this person due to the fact that this person is not opening up emotionally so that's what i'm seeing for you guys um i really hope that i was able to give you guys some sort of clarity with the situation if this did resonate, please make sure you like this video, comment below, and subscribe. And if you do want a personal reading, remember my information will be listed in the description box as well as the comment section. And thank you guys for your constant support and your likes, shares, and all of that. I really do um, appreciate that. Excuse me. All right. Have an awesome week, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, guys.